What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to assign names to colors using Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so I've recently made a video on how to extract the most dominant colors from images using Python. And this can be used, I also said, for creating new features for machine learning models, for example. So you get a color uh, from an image and you have now a new feature that says dominant color one, dominant color two, whatever. And this can be used for machine learning. The problem, however, is that when you get colors by extracting or by just taking values, for example, you get a hex code or you get an RGB code, whatever, those are concrete values. So you have values that can be changed slightly and now it's a different value. Uh, you don't have categories. You don't have dark red, light red, green. You have values that can change slightly. They're now a different value, but it's essentially the same color. And this is oftentimes not too useful for machine learning because it doesn't really make a difference if it's uh, 255, 60, 0 or 255, 60, 1, 0. The RGB code doesn't really matter to us. It's basically the same color. So what we want to do today is we want to categorize colors uh, by using names. So we're going to say blue is blue. And if a color code doesn't have an exact um, name in the Python library that we're going to use, we're going to assign the name of the closest color by calculating the distance to all the other colors that we have. And then we're going to see, okay, this color is closest to blue. So we're going to label it blue, even if it's not exactly 00, 0255. So this is what we're going to do today. And for that, we're going to need a library called web colors. So we're going to say pip install web colors like this. And then we're going to say import web colors. We're also going to need matplotlib for the displaying. Uh, actually, I don't know. Are we going to need matplotlib? Uh, yeah, let's let's just import matplotlib. So if you don't have matplotlib installed, you're going to have to go to the command line and also type pip install matplotlib. Um, then we're going to import matplotlib.pyplot. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use from web colors. We have uh, the list of uh, we have a list of names that a color can have. So we can say here, print web colors. And I think the function is CSS three hex to names. Actually, it's not a function. We need to call the items function on that. And you can see here that we have all these different colors. So we have a hex code and we have the label for that specific color. Now, if you change one of those um, values here slightly, this is a completely different color from the name. So it's not going to be coral anymore. For us, it's going to be the same color. If I change the zero to a one, it's going to be the same color basically, but it's not going to be recognized as coral. And what we can do is we can print here web colors and we can do RGB to name. And if I pass here, for example, now, um, I think this takes a tuple of three values, right? 255, zero, zero, for example, if I do that, I get red as a result. Now, if I change this to 254, this is not going to work anymore. It says value error. This has no defined color name. So that's the challenge that we have. We want to find that the closest color to this year is in fact 255 uh, So red, and this is the job for today's video. Not too complicated. We're going to define a function called closest color, and we're going to pass an RGB code here or an RGB tuple or actually a triple. And we're going to say here now that we have the differences to each color. So difference is going to be an empty list. And we're going to then say for color hex value and the color name that we saw in the web colors dot CSS three hex names items. This is the one that I printed before. For each of those, we're going to say R G and B is going to be equal to web colors hex to RGB. And we're going to get the color hex value from that list. We're going to convert it to RGB. And we're going to calculate the differences by saying differences. And we're going to use as a key here, we're going to use the distance. And the value is going to be the actual color. So we're going to say, okay, the differences, sum, and here we're going to have R minus RGB zero, which is our red. So the red from the uh, color of that dictionary and our red, the difference between that uh, we want to have this in parentheses because we're going to square the difference here. Um, so let me just see. We have this. Then we have RG minus RGB one to the power of two. And then B minus RGB two to the power of two as well. 
Now, what's the problem here? We need to say that this is equal to the color name. So this is the difference for that um, for that particular color. And this is going to be the key and the value is going to be the color name. The reason we do it like that is because we're going to get the minimal dis distance or the minimal difference. And we're going to take that color name as the result. So what we're going to return here is we're going to return the differences minimum of differences key. So we're going to get the smallest key, which is the smallest difference. And we're going to take this and uh, what's the problem here? I'm not sure what the problem here is. Oh, I think yeah, this needs to be a dictionary. Sorry. Of course, this needs to be a dictionary, not a list. Come on. So curly brackets, but the rest is fine. So Basically, again, what we do is we get an RGB triple, we say, okay, get each color from the available color list, convert that color that we're looking for right now to an RGB, calculate the difference by taking the difference between the individual RGB values, and then squaring the differences, take the sum of that. And then we have a list where we have all the distances or the differences as keys and the names as the values and we take just the smallest key to get the respective color name that gives us the closest color. So now what we can do is we can get a color like this one here, one, one, three, two, four, one, uh, two, two, four, for example, I'm not sure what that color is even, but we're going to say now try, I'm going to say that the color name C name is going to be equal to web colors dot um, RGB to name and we're going to pass the color. And I'm going to say, okay, print the color is exactly C name. Or if we get a value error as before, so except value error, we're going to say that C name is the closest color um, of color and then print the color is closest to C name. And then PLT im show we can pass color here, PLT show, so that we see the actual result. And you can see here, it says the color is closest to aquamarine. And now if we do the same thing here with 25400. Now this is recognized as red, if it's exactly red, we're going to get a different message because now it says it's closest to red. If I have exactly red, it's going to say that the color is exactly red. And this is how you convert an RGB color code to an actual color name and how you can categorize it. Now you can also take these categories and turn them into numbers. So you can say uh, the first color is zero, the second one is one and so on and so forth. So we have numeric categories for your machine learning models. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and 